Hello and welcome back to Frogboy, Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew and today we have a very special day today. Um, if you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. But I got myself another package from Camus, Camus Racing. Um, these guys are incredible. They're pretty new to the game, only been around for a couple of years. In terms of making... Um, uh, um, in terms of making hardware for sim racing, uh, but these guys have come a long way. And a little bit earlier, um, I had the C5. They, they sent out a C5 to me, and I tested that wheel out, and that was freaking amazing. A five newton meter wheel with the wheel and the motor all combined in one to produce five newton meters of power. Um, very, very freaking cool wheel. I would show that one, but this is all about the C12. Now the C12 has, as you're watching this, will just have been announced. And I got to tell you, this thing is freaking pretty cool. So is what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and unbox this thing. Um, I've been working with Camus for just over, actually it's a year now. It, it's been a year, one year. This is like the one year anniversary of working with Camus. They first sent me out the 15 newton meter DDWB21. Then they sent me out the C5 and then the LP8, which is their eight newton meter uh, model. All three of those wheels have been freaking incredible. The LP8, um, when, when I got that, it was still in like a like a beta type thing. So there was a there was a little thing going on with the, the overall. Um, uh, there, there was like a duty cycle with it. You could play for play with it for a couple hours, and you'd have to let it sit for a while. And then the longer you let it sit, the longer you'd be able to play again. Um, so so that was a little bit weird. Um, I don't know if they've gotten that worked out or not yet. That's why I haven't done a whole lot of videos on the C8 do, or the LP8 just due to the fact that um, it I, I haven't been able to actually get it you know out of that thing. So I, I, I don't know what's going on with that one. So I'll just wait until it I, I get updated or something like that. Um, <laughs> But they don't to see Camus is interesting because they don't they don't like bombard me with a whole bunch of stuff to say. They they send me these products and they're like, look, man, just be honest about them. Just tell the people, just tell your fans what you know what what you feel about these products. Let them see them. Let them see you enjoying them. Let you let 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 them let them see you know you experience that, and and tell them how it is. Just be honest with them. And and I respect that. I really like that actually. The fact that they they don't ask me to to say anything or do anything or pretend to like anything like everything I've said about Camus up to this date has been 100% true. I do 100% like Camus more than I like my Fanatec that I paid $1400 for. And and that's true. Like I'm not lying about that. I when it comes to rally racing on Camus, it is incredible for me. I love the way it feels. With, with Fanatec, I get why a lot of people are like, oh, I love my Fanatec, because you can. You can customize the Fanatec experience to the point where it feels like you have grip while you're on, while you're on gravel. And and I mean, like, I get that. Like, I, I, I understand why people would like that. But for me, um, it just feels a little bit... It, it, to me, it feels like cheating, to be completely honest with you. Um, um, if you can tune your your, uh, your your Fanatec wheel to be like like you're driving on tarmac on the gravel, that kind of feels like cheating to me. And when I figured that out on mine, I was like, oh gosh, I get it. I understand why people like it. And and like Fanatec's great or whatever. Like love Fanatec. They 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 make some they make some quality stuff. But today we are talking about the C12. So let's go ahead. Look at this beautiful packaging. My freaking gosh, dude, this looks so premium. Just the box alone, right when I took this out of the other box, I was like, oh, you got to be joking, man. That looks so freaking clean. It's not even funny. So let's go ahead. I did remove the uh, the little tape thing so that we can make this easier. Now is what you do is you lift. Um, let me see if I can get it up here. Maybe give us a little bit of room on the desk. I need to get like a better setup for for like doing unboxings and stuff like I don't know I didn't I didn't never really plan on doing a whole bunch of these unboxing type deals so so it is so it is like a little bit interesting how my space is so you're just gonna lift this right off maybe I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be careful so it doesn't so it doesn't like plop all over the place so very nice very premium box 
nice thick lots of padding so right when you pull that off you're going to get your user manual this this is your user manual this is going to tell you how to get in there um well uh, uh the, the, obviously it's in chinese and then they have like the english section right here um it's got like your warranty information and stuff in there how to download and set up the um the camus uh software and then yeah so and then basically this tells you you know how to set it up on your desk and all of that stuff which is pretty cool so very very nice very informative um that actually that that book's actually thicker than any of the other ones i have so then we got the cover right here so we'll go ahead and move that and then we will set this bad baby up like that that's that's what you're gonna see when you open this box you are gonna see this premium wheel setup now this here is 300 millimeters so it's definitely bigger than the c5 which is 270 millimeters and the uh like okay now i love the c5 don't get me wrong like i love the c5 it is it is incredibly cool it's very compact it's easy to set up it's easy to get going um very premium premium design like i like that and and you can tell that it is it is one heck of a freaking beast but it is small like if you're if you're like me like i like the bigger rims i i like them you know it's it the c5 is a bit thinner which is you know not not terrible i mean it's workable you can work with it you can get the job done but i like the bigger thicker rims just like this right here so let's go ahead and pull this monster out now if you look at the front of this very very premium now i will have some video of this like on you've got actually twistable knobs here um and then you've got you know your other knobs here your buttons and these are click buttons man these these feel premium little freaking joystick man like this is a joystick <laughs> like that is a joystick there's one on both sides this one here is more of a more more solid this one here is like straight up like analog freaking you can move that around this one here is more up down you know twist it does have a twist on it and you can push that in this one here does not twist like that all of these right here you got more knobs like this thing feels incredibly premium but as with the c5 whoo boy that's that's got a little bit of heft to it all of this is in here this rotates on this axis you'll have your two mounts that'll hook into the back of here and then this thing here just pivots on that i i can't explain how incredible the force feedback feels when it's when it's all right there it it oh gosh it's just so nice carbon fiber magnetic shifters this is so and that was one of the things that i what i that i told camus i was like no man you guys you guys have got to you guys have got to change the the shifters on there they have to be a little bit bigger because they, they were small they, they were pretty small and and like with the little smaller rim your fingers would kind of get a little bit cramped um if you were using those but my gosh every design thing that i thought of they have 100 percent fixed with this now also you can undo these and you can put a bigger rim on there uh this is 300 millimeter I have a 330 millimeter rim with with the from Fanatec and the bolt pattern on here is perfect. It's like 277 it's like 270 uh, not millimeters. What is it? 200 centimeters or something. What whatever it is, it's like the standard bolt pattern for any kind of a of a 6 um of a 6 bolt bolt freaking steering wheel. So you can hook any other rim to this if you want you just pull that off and you can stick it on there right here what you got i mean this right here oh the handles gosh it smells so freaking good <laughs> and and it's thick it's thick like you can put your patty cakes on there like look at that my patty cakes fit nice and and it feels good it feels good and once that baby's mounted you've got like all that power right there this is 12 newton freaking meters of power 12 newton meters 12 newton meters right there right there in the, in the palm of your freaking hand like 12 newton meters and you can you can take this thing anywhere with you anywhere with you you can take this you can set it up it's it's got little mounts for for your table for your desk i'm gonna hard mount this baby of course 
obviously. Now, for cooling and stuff, there is there is a fan that comes with this that, that you can hook into the thing. So, so you will have, you know, cooling with this and everything else one, once you get that whole setup. But I don't think that mine came with the extra mounting bracket. So I'll probably have to use the one I got with the C5 on there and, uh, and hook that up. So you're going to have your power supply that's going to come in this box as well. Um, nice big one, almost as big as the, this is almost as big as the, the DD21, the DDWB21. This is, this is a fairly decent size power, but it does in fact have the smaller one like the C5 and the C8. So you will be able to, uh, plug that in. I don't know if I would try to use one of the other smaller ones. Obviously you're going to have your bigger, um, your, your 120 volt your USB cable for this thing, mounting brackets, those will come standard. I think, I, I actually, I think the other bracket thing that you buy for this is you have to buy that. Um, all of your little, all of your bolts, all of the mounting bolts and stuff, and then the fan. And this is a pretty decent sized fan. Like it's got a pretty good blower on there. You put that on there and then it will feed air into the back of the wheel so that you will be able to race non-stop but yeah dude this is freaking awesome another incredible setup and i want to talk but now i'm going to put this little box away because i want to talk a little bit more about the incredible incredible engineering that has went in to the c12 my gosh, dude, this thing just looks incredible. So this has this has a screen, um, all the lighting right here and stuff. I mean, I'll have more video um, up, you know, connected to this one. I'll, I'll have like the video showing like the thing in action and working and all of that stuff, man. But this thing is, gosh, I love how that thing sits on there and it feels good. Like that feels so freaking nice having that thing all set up. My goodness. All the, all the connections, all the settings in the back. You got the fan input, the USB, the DC input, um, two type C, um, two type C USB, one's for the pedal, one's for the, uh, I have the, I have the pedals for the C5. They would fit right in here. You could just plug them in there. Um, but everything's like hooked up to my SIM rig. So I'll probably just end up using my Fanatec pedals with this as well as like I, like I was doing with the, uh, oh, I didn't put these back in the box but i will drop it right there so yeah this is the camera c12 i cannot wait to share more with you guys but this video here will be followed up um i'll have some driving in here and everything else so you guys just say, hold on a second and uh, i'll get things readjusted so just be patient no i'm just joking yeah we'll, we'll see you guys shortly all right, guys, let's go ahead and start checking this out with a game. Let me pull up Steam real quick. We'll go ahead and jump right into a set of course of competizione. And we'll check this bad boy out. See how she feels on the wheel. Feeling nice. It's feeling nice. So we're going to have it set at like 900 degrees. And then we'll, uh, we'll get you guys a... We'll get you guys some uh, we'll get you guys some other some other stuff in here as well. Um, let's go ahead and jump in there. Let's go to options. Let's check out just just want to make sure the controls are set. Okay. The steering was set. Okay. Okay, we are good to go. So let's go ahead and back out of this. Back out of that. We'll go right into a single player. We're just gonna do a lap first and just kind of feel how the how the steering and all of that stuff you know feels on this particular experience. So this is the C12. Wow, that is loud. Okay, so I've got steering. 
We got pedal. Now I do have it set at like 50% power. This is supposed to be a 12 Newton meter. So we probably will be playing around with that a little bit more as we are driving. I think I'm in the uh, G, GT2 Audi. Yeah, because this car feels... Okay, I want to try something. I want to crank this power up a little bit more because 50% is filling a little bit. Go ahead and pull up the camera software per meters uh, power. We're going to set that at. Let's just go ahead and freaking max it out. Just go ahead and take it all the way to a one hundred. Wow, that's got some freaking power to it. This thing feels tight. So some of the things you got on this canvas are uh, some knobs, you've got switches, you've got buttons, everything you could possibly need.
So all of the lights and stuff on here work for like the shift indicator and everything. Very, very cool. Probably get a few minutes on this. Love watching that light blink right in my face. You can feel like that curves and everything real nice. I definitely like this a lot more than the C5. C5 is probably like my uh my other second one but this one here just the way the, the force feedback hits just feels uh, more tactile not a whole lot of slop in it like it feels tight I don't know if it's just these uh, these GT2 cars, but um, it feels a little bit different with like shifting and stuff on these. Like the the downshift isn't as quick as it is on some of the other ones. So let's do this. I want to I want to try something. I want to get out of here. Let's get out of this one. Boom. Confirm. Sorry that when I test these wheels, we actually look at things. I don't try to cut a whole lot of stuff out. I like to let you guys see whatever's going on. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You got to go back out this way. So back out. And then, so, yeah, I was in the GT2 car. So let's try 2023. Oh, wow. Let's see. What's this one? This is the uh, BMW, but I'm going to go with my Audi. Let's try this one. Okay. Okay. Oh, I see. So let's see this car, how this one going to run. Ooh. I don't know if we want. Yeah, I mean, I guess we could do it. Nah. I don't want to do a Mola. Let's do... Let's do Kailami. Let's do Kailami. Confirm. Let's start that session. This feels a lot, lot tighter than than like the the rest of the Camus ones that I've I've used. Like this one here feels a lot more uh, interesting in terms of. Okay. Let's 
do some Kyle Lamy. This uh, force feedback hits really nice on this wheel. You got some nice freaking torque all the way through that too. Like, oh my gosh. Three hundred millimeter rim. So very nice. Easily be able to use this for for rally racing. It's about the bare minimum that I would like, to be completely honest with you. All of the all of the minor little uh, quirks that I had with the C5, this has completely solved the majority of that. I just love the way a set of course it feels on a wheel. Man, this thing is sustaining that high quality torque all the way through. Ooh, man. Dang. Woohoo, when you hit that, you feel it. Dang, that's the first time I've ever had one actually like catch me like that. Ooh. Stopping the engine. All right, let's get out of let's get out of this game ski. Let's try some rally. Let's get right into something in the in the rally space. Let's go ahead and back exit confirm. Close. All right, let's get back into the steamy steam. And then let's get some WRC 10, the number 10. Get that popped up here in just a minute. Gotta put this little monster through its paces. 
Okay, I'm gonna just have to set this thing up again real quick with the with the buttons and stuff. Sorry guys, I'm having that thing clip off for a minute. Let's go ahead and get this thing up and rolling. All right, so we got to come over here. Oh gosh, I got a controller right here. We'll just do that. And controls. We need celebrate. Cool, there we go. Gotta assign a key for that. Okay. Okay, confirm. Dude, I don't have a back. Oh, duh. All right. Let's go ahead and jump into WRC mode. Quick play. Special stages. Let's try some Spain real quick. We will go to... Some noon. Oh wait, I got to go out to this Alt tab. Sorry. Pull back up this Camus software. I need this at 360. Because I usually have this about four. Okay, we'll just. Four eighty, four hundred and eighty degrees. Okay. Um, power level, we're going to come back down to sixty. Because these ones are a bit too much for that for me. For me, in terms of like just way too much. All right, so let's go ahead and start this. I almost feel like I don't have like a 60 frames per second or something.
Dude, there's like like something else is hooked to that button. Too. That's very annoying. That is so annoying. Got a lot of power. It's like rumbling the whole freaking setup when I go off in the dirt. Gosh dang, that's got some freaking power. I don't know why it feels kind of notchy on here. Like the, like when it f switches, it's kind of a little bit notchy. It's I'm wondering if it's like that feels kind of weird. Like it's like there's like a notchy feeling in that when I'm like turning and stuff. So um, is what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch from the recording that I'm doing right now to just um, over on my other recording so that I can get better uh, performance out of what's going on right now because it seems to be that the, um, um, the Streamlabs is actually uh, affecting the, uh, my experience more than I want it to. On this game, certain games run just fine with Streamlabs, but for some reason, this one here is just not. So I'm going to go ahead and like swap it over to a different type of recording um, just through the, um, the software itself. So just going to switch right over. All right. All right, guys, we are back. And this time we are on just the good old fashioned the uh, the other thing we're gonna go ahead dude i think we're gonna do a different stage though i want to do some estonia i like i like testing things out on on this on this uh, on this setup like this so we're gonna go ahead and move this over to here and this oh Ski. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Thirty, five, fifty. Left three short, thirty. Right three, two, two, left thirty. Yeah, 
This is the freaking Camus experience I love. Ooh, yes. Because I had my will just now set at like 540, so I had to set it back. This is what I'm talking about. Dude, I love, I love, 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 love Camus for Rally. Love this. We'll get some uh, EA Sports and everything else on here. That's probably my favorite thing with Camus is Rally Racing. And I just happen to love Rally Racing more than any other racing. So, like, Camus is, like, a natural fit for me for that. And, I don't know, man. I've been, like, honestly really thinking about just, you know, keeping all my racing on PC. Like, I pretty much have. I pretty much have. I rarely ever get on the consoles. So, I don't necessarily really even need the Fanatec that much anymore. It, it, it is nice to have. But, I mean, I kind of want this here to just be hooked up always. I just, I love the way this feels, but I mean, 12 Newton freaking meters of power now. My gosh. That's a nice little upgrade from uh, 8 to 12. But then, you know, I mean, like with the DD15, the 15, man, was way too much for this. Uh, the reason why I don't use that one is that one's just too too much for this um, for this uh, cockpit that I got. Gosh dang school. Come on, man, you dumb phone. Oh, so annoying. Every time my daughter misses school, they always decide to call me while I'm busy. Now I gotta catch it up a little bit. So yeah, this this is awesome, man. I love the way that this wheel feels for 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 rally racing. It felt great on a set of course at Competizione as well. Um, but I feel like I like it more on on rally racing. Just like I always have. I mean it feels great on a set um, we'll test it out with some Automobilist 2. We've got some EA Sports WRC we'll test it out on. Uh, some Forza Motorsport, of course. Uh, we'll pretty much just get this thing going, get it set up with everything, and do a bunch of bunch of videos with it. Um, ooh, yeah, I feel that. Gosh, see, that's what I love about Camus. I, I don't get this like f driving down the road feeling from from Fanatec. I, I just don't get that. And I mean, it's it's the little things like that. Honestly, the way it slides, the way it freaking it like it just counter steers and stuff like I'm sliding across the ground I'm moving my wheel back and forth to counter steer it just feels natural I feel I feel a lot more a lot more natural on on a camas wheel when I'm on the when I'm on the gravel and 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 like yeah I, I have not used anything yet that's matched this feeling this is why I fell in love with Camus in the first place, is the, the straight up feeling of Rally. This this is just great. I might actually pull my rim off the Fanatec and put it on here. Because this right here, you can swap out your rim. And uh, my Fanatec rim is that 330 millimeters. So I might just throw that bad baby on here and really freaking feel the power. But actually, you know what? It's got This has got removable paddle shifters too now. So you can, um, <laughs> this thing's a monster. I'm telling you, I am telling you that this, this here is like, this is like almost the absolute perfect freaking compact setup. You got the wheel, the motor, everything all in one. Uh, the thickness of this thing, uh, maybe, maybe five inches, maybe five inches. And, uh, yeah. 
Sorry, when I get all excited and start talking and stuff. See, and then the way it feels when you get onto tarmac, like it's not so freaking, it's not jarring at all. Like, look at this, I can, I can drift my car around these turns. It's, it's not jarring, man, this experience. I don't know what it freaking is about Camus, but this just feels light years better to me than, than my Fanatec does. And I've been putting some time on that Fanatec lately. Um, I put I, I put all my other Camus wheels away because I was like, okay, I need to like focus on this and like really learn this Fanatec thing because um, I'm making a lot of people mad with my with my uh, inflammatory comments towards towards Fanatec and. I don't know, my friends. I don't know. Like, don't get me wrong, man. I've learned that Fanatec very, very well. Um, I've put a lot of time in on, on it now. I've I've got it freaking dialed in to, to every racing simulation type thing that I can imagine. You guys haven't heard me complaining about it um, because it's good. Like, I'm not complaining about it no more. I've got it set up. So, yes, it's good, but I prefer absolutely prefer like gosh dang listen to that power listen to that power just freaking and this is at 50 percent too this is at 50 percent and this feels a lot stronger than than eight newton meters from that fanatec and this is so 50 percent is like six six newton meters see when you get onto this oh i love it i love it this makes me feel like I'm driving across the bumpy freaking road, skipping over bumps and like that. That to me is immersive. Very, very immersive. Um, I did lift my uh, thing up a little bit too, so I got a kind of a little bit more flex bounce in my uh, in my frame for my next level racing FGT cockpit. So I've got a little bit more flex bounce in there as well. Oh gosh, this is what I call immersive, man. So you hit these bumps boom 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 man it shakes your whole freaking wheel like we're talking we're, we're, we're talking like up down shake that's what I'm talking about like see that see like the bounce oh I love that I love this it's so immersive in a rally game and it only does it on the dirt roads like it's not doing that on the on the tarmac or anything like that it's only on these dirt roads so it helps simulate the uh, the overall bounce and bump uh, when, when you're hitting these, especially when you're driving a freaking rally car with like really super freaking stiff suspension and stuff, um, yeah, this this feels incredible. And and I feel like the the uh, the Fanatec experience, it's good because it's a lot more it, it it's stable. Like you don't feel this uh, you don't you don't feel this type of uh, inertia like when you're driving on on this. You, you don't feel it as well. Like it's it's very good at like masking that out and 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 separating that, but. Um, I like it. I like it. People think it's noisy. Probably some people probably think it's noisy, but gosh, man, I've driven a lot of dirt roads and and stuff like that, and so I know like how they kind of feel when you're when you're hitting things and you're like boom, 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 getting bounced around and stuff. And whoa, I just I love it. I mean, I'm not even like really trying to be like competitive in my driving right now. I'm just having some fun checking this out and 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 getting a getting a feel for for this right now and man i am not disappointed let's see where's another good one where's a good one for this see i like estonia because it's got some pretty bouncy ah finland let's do a finland now let's go ahead and do the reverse we'll do the long stage yeah this this is awesome this is awesome Man, I'm freaking in love, dude. Not even hot. Nice and cool. It's got its own little fan back here. Just blowing cold air right into this beast. Just saying, oh, man. And the way I've got it set is... Uh, I like this little low-profile looking thingy. Hi, doggie. What you want, doggie? What you, what you want? I have no food for you. No, you go. I don't have nothing. I don't have no food. I don't have none. I don't have none. You come to say hi? You come to say hi? Okay, I'm driving. Okay, I'm driving. I would have been revving it up, but I haven't set the uh, brake back. Yeah, 
bumpy bumps. And see, the funny thing is, is like that, it, it feels, it feels good because when you hit and you feel that, that like whole bump and, and jump in the, in the, in the whole rim and stuff, and it, and it feels like, boom, yeah. Oh, man. I love, 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 love me some Camus. <laughs> I can feel my whole freaking cockpit freaking bounce and shake. Oh my gosh. It's almost like having a butt kicker. <laughs> Ooh, 12 Newton meters of monster power on this thing, man. And we're only using like half of it. And it still feels significantly better on rally games than that Fanatec has ever felt. But I do like the Fanatec because you really can set that bad boy up to where it feels like you've got a... Or you've got a... Uh, traction just like or a uh, grip like you do on a freaking tarmac road so that is very very nice Whew. Ooh. see when you're like skidding out on the tires and stuff and you're sliding through that hardcore freaking dirt man like you get freaking real feedback out of camis you get real feedback, and and it just, yeah, like I, I like that more than that proprietary um, stuff. Like that, I, I oh man, it, that is hard. Like this feels more raw. I know I say that every single time, but it's true. Like this feels like a more raw freaking experience. Like you feel like you're going off these jumps. Boom, you got you go off a jump, you feel nothing, and then you hit the ground, and it's like boom, and it's not like. Some little, oh gosh, feeling. It's it's like, dang, man, you feel like you're on a road. Like, this feels incredible. You feel your tires hit the ground. Like, you feel like you've got traction. When your car's sliding, you feel like you're sliding. Oh, oh. Yeah. Very, very nice. I feel like comfortable on this, on these wheels with Camus, man, gosh. Like this is just fun, man. Like I could do this forever. We crash, we crash. Let's go ahead and uh, get us back on the road, sir. Wait, do I not have... Oh, I don't have any buttons hooked up. I don't have any buttons hooked up, so we got to get back out there and drive. We're going to have to do this on our own, sir. This, 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 this track just has a lot. I mean, this course has a lot of freaking bumps, jumps, and stuff like that. Boy, ski. Ooh, hoo, hoo, dang. I'm telling you, man, this here like gives you the freaking the uh, the impact that you. Oh shoot, when you hit those freaking things, man, you get some you get some gosh dang feedback. Not that neutered stuff that you get with the Fanatec. Ooh. Man, this thing has got so much power, it's like shaking my freaking Dude, my Fanatec never shakes this thing like this or makes it gosh dang freaking wobble, man. And this is this is like half power. This is crazy. And that Fanatec has been set to max power the whole time. And I never get that freaking, that much feedback from it. Ever. 
that's why I'm saying I love this raw feeling for this thing. I love how it, how it like feels. I can uh, I can correct myself a little bit. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Attention for a minute. I've got a four. Oh no! I can I, I can't hear the co-driver, so I don't know what the freak I'm doing or what he's saying when I'm going over these jumps and bumps and stuff. So I'm pretty much just doing this all by watching. Can feel that. Woo. It was feeling kind of notchy a second ago, but then I put it on here and see. Look at that, man! Just pulling off that nice little freaking. That is good. One thing I love about Camus is you don't necessarily need an e-brake while using this bad boy. Got that nice little freaking. Dang, freaking little, freaking little divider.
Uh, bolt pattern is the exact same as the, as the Fanatec. So, setting this thing up, no problem. Bolts right up exactly like the Fanatec. That baby hard. I am so bad at freaking Finland. My gosh. I'm sorry, my friends, for such a crashy, crashy drive, but I'm, I'm, yeah, dude, that's incredible. I'm telling you, I don't know what to say. All right, if you like this content, do not forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, my friends, <clears throat> welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew, and today we are doing a little bit more testing on the Camus C12. So if you guys like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now this will end, uh, everything is all built in one thing. Uh, we're going to go ahead and test this on... Um, Automobilista 2 with the Porsche, so let's go ahead and jump into this. Off to a good start. We've got function. But we has no brake. Do we not have brake, really? I think my brakes are inverted. I gotta get. Ooh. Yeah, dang it. So let's get out of that. Let's go over here to configuration. Whoops a daisies. Gonna have to back on out of that now. we messed up we got something going on here buddies we need to do something real quick oh we're at 50 let's go ahead and crank that bad baby up all right we were only at 50 percent on our
know what? Something is just not freaking feeling right with this right now. Uh, let's go ahead and put this one right here at 39. Okay. Let's try this. Sorry, I'm trying to set this wheel all up and everything at the same time as we are This feels a lot better now. this track on Seto. This here is like one of those tracks that I use to like seriously test out some wheels because this track's got a lot of uh, hardcoreness in it. <laughs> cool down lap but we are going to just take it
right, we got around that one. So that was pretty good. It took me a minute to get this thing set up, but now that we have it set up, I think I think I know what we're doing now. I feel a little bit better. I feel a little bit better with this overall experience now. Um, at least for this game so far. Um, I, I tested WRC. That that feels uh, that that always just feels incredible on Camus. So I mean, it's. All right, let me get us over to a different track so that we can have um, oh. Do the Nord Shalife, uh, but we're not doing three laps. We're going to do save. Because the reason why we're doing only just one is because that thing will take forever if we do three picking laps on Nord Shalife. back just a little bit more for this one all right guys
man, I like this wheel. Whew. Very nice, very responsive, good feeling, freaking force feedback. Very responsive. Shifters on this are nice too. Ooh, look at all the thick, fluffy grass. I just slowed down right there. I was kind of deep in thought. I was thinking about how the wheel feels and all of that stuff. Sometimes you just got to like, take a minute and kind of think about how the road's feeling, how the steering's handling, all of that kind of stuff. Especially when you're like reviewing a product like this. You want to see if you can feel like the undulations and stuff like that. I like these freaking canvas wheels, man. These things are incredible.
Better hope I don't miss the uh, <laughs> the pit stop on this one. control anymore all right so that my friends is automobilista 2 on the camera c12 this thing is a freaking absolute beast it feels incredible so uh we're gonna go ahead and switch over to the next game all right my friends so we just watched uh, <clears throat> an hour and a half of different types of racing scenarios and other things with the Cama C12, the unboxing, all of that stuff. And I want to give you my final thoughts on this monster. So the Cama C12 is 12 newton meters of power and, and you can feel it. Like this is power you can absolutely feel. Um, if, if you remember back during the, uh, the section four, um, WRC 10 like you could literally hear this thing rattling my um uh, my my uh <laughs> my cockpit man there's just so much power in this and so much raw force feedback when you when you are playing rally games that it's incredible now i would have required i would have put in all of my all of my footage from all the games you know like forza motorsport um EA Sports, all of that stuff, but I'm going to be doing a bunch of separate videos um, to 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 really showcase the Camus C12 because this here is by far probably my favorite Camus product yet. So as you can see, like on the back this time here, you've got adjustable um, um, gosh dang it, uh, paddle shifters, so you can get different like little uh, little paddle shifters. You could put different ones on there. The wheel rim is 100% replaceable. Uh, Camus also has a um, F1 rim that actually, you know, fits on this. So when you when you do decide to pick this up, you can get it with either the round rim or the F1. You can make this rim bigger. You can uh, you can go. It, I mean, it's got the 270 millimeter or <clears throat> 270 centimeter. Uh, wheel pattern on here so you can use whatever basically whatever wheel you want uh, This one here would be really good for like trucking simulators as well uh, Just due to the way this is mounted you can mount it like this you can you can uh, put a bigger rim on there You'd be able to use that so I think that this one here has a lot of Really good customizability that you could uh, that you could really get out of this wheel like this is a very versatile and compatible or a compact experience like everything you see right here everything you need is right here in this motor in this base uh, making this probably one of the most intense racing um, experiences that, that you're gonna find in a direct drive wheel all of the power is right there and you can fill every single bit of it there's no shaft to, to, to take out any of the feeling everything you get all of the vibration you get all of the freaking um everything like you can fill it all and it is very intense due to the fact that this is 12 newton meters now i know that fanatex putting out a 12 newton meter base they're asking a thousand dollars for that base i mean well actually what was it 15 newton meters um it's a little bit bigger than my 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 dd my uh my eight newton meter dd from fanatec um i guarantee that this one here is going to come in at a lower price this has got like this funky switch right here you've got another one right here like the overall layout and button placement the lighting effects all of that stuff looks incredible in follow-up videos i'll do more close-up while i'm racing stuff like that um, I've only had this for a couple of weeks now. I've had plenty of time to play around with it and and um, 
and like really test this thing out and and get a good feel for it the materials on this feel absolutely premium the leather uh gosh it's just it feels so smooth it glides through your hands when you're playing like drifting and stuff like that um by i said this uh i said this during the video um my favorite experiences with like the camis is is my uh um is my rally racing like that to me is absolutely incredible the way that camis can deliver a raw unfiltered experience that actually feels like you're driving on a bumpy gravel road is 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 an is a is outstanding to me like the i i hate to always have to compare this to fanatec but that would i mean that's that's the only comparison i really have is a fanatec is a fanatec wheelbase or you know like thrustmaster stuff like that um the 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 belt drive wheels and stuff yes they're they're doable but they they, they don't even come close to the feeling you're going to get from a direct drive wheel and if camus keeps up with the uh the pricing and stuff i see this coming in you know under under 500 bucks for for this setup uh, they haven't told me a pricing yet actually this all of this has just been like testing phase i mean this thing was um pretty much not even uh like nobody even like it, it was under secret you know nobody even knew about it until until today until this video came out so it's um it's it's been in testing and and i and i will tell you that this model this version that i have right now is um technically um a prototype um the prototype model the uh the uh the ones they sent out to testers so that we can take a look at them so that we can give them feedback um so that we can test the experience before they're ready to go public with it and i'll tell you what man this thing is damn near close to perfect damn near close to perfect the uh the overall experience that you get from a camus um wheel setup is 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 incredible now i showed you i, sh I showed you a range of games during this this video um you know like some assetto corsa some um automobilista 2 some some wrc um and uh and, and i will get you some i will get you some forza motorsport footage of it as well um <clears throat> It, it works really good like i was playing around with it on forza motorsport today but i didn't record all of my footage and i needed to get this thing off of the off of the setup to be able to get it over here so that we could take a look at it and uh and and talk about it you know for the, for this video purpose and stuff so i had to so i had to take it off so that we could so that we could talk about it and um and and kind of go over like the the button layout and like the features and stuff and you know just kind of give it um you know it, it's time to shine before it goes back over there on the rig today and to tell you the truth um to be completely honest with you like it it does feel pretty good um on on forza motorsport after you uh after you invert the uh the force feedback it actually like changes like everything if you try to do it without the other it, it just feels like super weird uh feels pretty inconsistent but once you get that straightened out it feels significantly better um but as i as i was saying you know all of the videos and all of the footage that i put in this video these are games that i actively play i actively play them i i'm i'm very active in 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 those experiences and i do play them pretty often so i figured that those are the best things for me to cover on the camus wheel at least for this initial video and i wanted to do a longer video this time because i wanted to let you see that raw that raw emotion that i was feeling as i was testing each and like each of these experiences out on the camus wheel you know if i was like not feeling something i wanted to go in and i wanted to show you guys right then and there what i was doing in real time so that you guys knew um so that you guys could see like the process of how i do like my testing and stuff and how i go through and i and i and i change things around that's why this video is like uncut unfiltered any of that kind of stuff because i want you to see the uh the overall experience with that now like i said in the beginning i've been covering camas for for a year now like this is this is a whole year that i've been covering covering camas from february to february and um i've had nothing but a good experience with camas Not, nothing but a good experience with camas and and across all four of their wheels 
uh, all four of the wheels that I've tested, the DDWB21, the LP8, the C5, and now the C12, the consistency across the board has been very strong and very good. Um, the only wheel, the only setup that was um, uh, a little bit different setup was the uh, was the LP8, and that one has a duty cycle due to not having any type of cooling in the uh, base itself. So that one there <clears throat> did get a little bit frustrating to use. Um, I would I would I would find myself in situations where where like the uh, where, where like the whole wheel would just cut out on me, and I, I would get no force feedback after after just a few minutes. That's why um, that one there is probably my least favorite out of all of the bases, is due to that 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 design flaw that that they should probably they should probably you know find another way to do that i love the overall design i love the way it looks um all of that stuff but <coughs> it, it's um it's a complicated you know relationship with the with the with the lp8 but for the most part like force feedback all of that stuff definitely consistent across the board so as it sits right now depending on the price of the camus c12 i think this is probably one of the better options that are that are going to be on the market for that that upper end you know up to up to like 15 newton meters but definitely more powerful than like your eight newton meter or your five newton meter definitely going to put this in a in, in an interesting class of um where it fits in the scale of of you know affordability uh compatibility as well as you, you know just sustainability for for like sim racing and stuff i definitely definitely love that camus brings these products to the market and makes them affordable for you so that you can pick these up so that you can enjoy these experiences without having to literally empty out your freaking piggy bank to get something as advanced and as high quality as what camus is bringing to the market and i will tell you that every Camus product I've received to date has been much higher quality than the money I spent for the Fanatec DD Pro. It has been. And we're, we're, we're even talking about like the C5 being higher quality and, and, and it coming in at a $250 price tag. That's just unmatched in this industry. Like you're not going to find a better price to quality ratio when it comes to sim racing equipment in in dd and and and, and that seems a little bit i get that it seems a little bit too good to be true but over a year of testing these products and 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 using them and 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 being like up to date with with what's going on with them and stuff like <laughs> camus is like yeah it, this is the real deal like you you it really does seem too good to be true and and like that's that's what like i think that's what like shocks a lot of people when it comes to camus is because yeah these are high quality products and they are they are solid so all right my friends thank you guys for watching i hope you got through this whole video i hope i gave you all the information you need when it comes to camus like i said i'll be getting you some more forza motorsport i'll be getting you some ea sport i'll be getting you um, as many different racing games on this uh, on the C12 for the next little while as I possibly can, because yes, this thing is awesome and it definitely needs to be uh, definitely needs to be showcased, man. And uh, thank you, Camus, for sending me this product again. I really appreciate these. Um, it, it 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 really it really does kind of open my eyes to what what's out there on the market and. I, I do. I think I think Camus is a solid company. I think they are pretty solid. They've they've always done what they've said they were gonna do. They never they've never told me to say anything. They they've always just been like, hey man, we got a new product. You guys want you want to test this? And I'm like, absolutely freaking lutely. And they send it out. They don't they don't tell me anything to say, and and that's cool. That that's cool. Like they they they're just like, yeah man, we want you to show people this this uh this setup. You know they've they've asked me, you know, can you do live streams and stuff like that. But they've never gone out of their way to to tell me to say anything about their products. Never, not once. If I've ever had a problem or a question or a concern, 
they've been right there to answer my 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 questions my comments you know everything uh when i was when i was having you know my my issues with the lpa they were like hey try this try this you know sending me different stuff uh including me in like betas for the uh for, for the software to to see with that and you know overall the the uh, the experience has just been has been really good with canvas and i and i really like them i think their customer support and the way they they, they go about their business and the way they, they they handle things and uh the feedback they give you and stuff has, has been has been very very good so i i would hope that the um the uh, customer experience for buying these products from camus would would also result in the same experience that i've received from them i i have nothing but good things to say about camus and and I and I look forward to my continued relationship with covering Camus products. Uh, I'm, after after playing with this C12, man, I am yeah. This these guys are these guys are onto something, and I think they really could change the sim racing community for the better by offering solid quality products at a fair, reasonable price to where people can get into this and really enjoy sim racing because there's a lot of products on the market right now that are that are absolute garbage and I and and I take sim racing very seriously and I would like you to get the best bang for your buck and to be able to have a product that you can that you can rely on that you can believe in that, that that's going to deliver that experience that you think uh, that, that, that you think that um, you should be getting for the money that you're spending. Like, I can guarantee you this this wheel is going to come in significantly cheaper than I paid for that DD Pro. And this is a hundred times the experience of that of that Fanatec. Yes, Fanatec has extra feels or whatever, but not it, it's not worth the price premium increase that you're going to pay f over something like the camas c12 so all right my friends thank you guys for watching i know this was a long video and you guys are champs for making through it but i wanted to give you the best most information that i could for this one because this is by far my favorite camas wheel to date the c12 absolutely incredible fixed every issue not not even issues but everything that you know, I wanted done with the C5 in my in my feedback back to them, 100% made that a reality, and and I'm and I'm grateful. Like more power, more freaking like a bigger rim, everything. 300 300 millimeter rim. Uh, so yeah, we're 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 in business. This is like the sweet spot for affordability and compatibility when it comes to sim racing on a direct drive wheel. So, all right, my friends, thank you so much. We will see you in the next one.